Tuesday, the 2nd of November. The time is 11.42 a.m. and the temperature is 8 degrees here in Helsinki. We are in, we are in Hakaniemi. It's a traditional sort of a market square here. Hakaniemen Tori, Hakaniemen Market. And then the Kaukkalalli, which is a sort of inside market. This is temporary building here. Housing the stores while they are renovating the older, more traditional one at the back there. Not a very extensive system here. Not a metro trains, but it's better than nothing. There's the old market hall the back there. for the light cycle to change. Thing on the other side, it's actually known from its shape. It's a round building in Brava. If you continue to the right, you end up in a kind of a trendy area. Barrier it used to be a bit more of a shady area, I guess, and uh, with lots of sort of bars and uh, that sort of thing now. Really interesting. And lots of new restaurants, bars, sort of thing, cafes. Has a stone church there, Kallio Kirko. Sort of Kallio meaning a sort of a on the hillside, it's not, there's probably like a <laughs> rock wall natural formation. Very bad translation there on the door. But this is kind of a, the main area of Hakaniemi. Hakaniemi known especially as the sort of, I guess the area that had ties with all of the institutions for workers, the political parties, social democratic movement. So traditionally, this side would have been a little bit away from the old city center that was seen as kind of having more of the elite at some point. And then uh, this would have been more politically uh, the social democratic area and uh, home to that kind of movements and the uh, workers' rights movement still has many of the kind of uh, parties in that sort of a area. <laughs> From here in uh, Kaisenem you can see the train, so you can also see that view from the train. It's quite nice. And although this is kind of maybe a 
looking a little bit like autumn and early winter and fall. Still quite nice. some issues with the gimbal tends to kind of want to turn a little bit funny is there a, someone coming through there and I don't know I think Actually, to the left, but I think the sound would be right there. So we're going to uh, improvise, and I think uh, just uh, have a quick look here where we can still see without the sound being in place. Some really important buildings in this area. Very nice restaurant there as well, with views of the waterside. There is a theater building, and that would be Gallio at the back there, and the Rome building in Toratala. Where the sun is going to be right there. Just want to show you how beautiful that street is leading there as well. It's just really, really pretty buildings. There's a train coming from Vanta. I'm not able to make out what the letter is on that train. They are marked letters. So our trains will go to Rihimaki. It's not always like that. There's a set, set train which definitely doesn't go anywhere with that letter. The city center is sort of there on the left. And that's the all of the rails leading out of Helsinki going that way. It's an 
it's a station where you basically can go anywhere from there, so everything will be coming in and then leaving out from there. I saw someone who went swimming in the sea. They were kind of looking like it was really cold. I would imagine it really, really is. It's a thing people do in Fumito, even during the winter. Even in winter you have people swimming, ice swimming, so maybe holes in the ice and then going for a swim, which might seem a little bit crazy, but uh, it's not that hard. <laughs> Apparently it's uh, very good for you. It is uh, city farming, quite beautiful still. We're still surrounded by these old beautiful buildings. I've been doing this, uh, well, I've been walking around on the kind of uh, seaside and waterside today because it's so sunny and it's supposed to get kind of overcast and it's supposed to rain for a couple of days. So I thought I'm going to. Uh, Go and look at the waterfront when it's at its most beautiful, when it's sunny. It's a bit chilly, a bit of breeze, but it's a refreshing breeze, not too bad. I think what I'll do, I'll go on the bridge over to the Kaisa Niemi side and walk towards the station. That will kind of take me to the direction of the sun though. Hopefully some of the buildings will block it a bit. Just get a closer look back from here. Some of the beautiful wooden buildings on the other side as well, and the boats. A lovely day to be around here, surrounded by these older buildings. I'm just readjusting my scarf in case that needs the uh, microphone. It's a little bit of a learning process now with the winter gear. here in the summer. It's a bit warmer. It's a really nice 
last place to get down for a bit. But not surprisingly, they've closed down for the winter. At least it looks like that. The only source of info is still there. The industry workers union. I think this might still be the same ship that's here. Probably doesn't go anywhere. To get to the railway station, I think we'll stick to the city, the streets. Pretty soon we'll get out of the direct sunlight. I'm tempted to show the view towards the Duomiokyoku uh, Church. in the park here. We will get a really good view of what it's like. It's really pleasant in the summer. And that takes me to the uh, railway station. to uh, stick to the streets and uh, go through by some yeti.
just like the uh, trains, many of the buses go to the railway station and the bus terminal there. And that's the sort of final stop. Most of them then turn back and you take a tram or the metro. And there's one of the uh, main cinemas there. With the sign Film Kino. It's Kino Palazzi. So I guess that would be like Cinema Palace. <laughs> If you want, seen many a movie there. The other one is Tennis Palazzi. Tennis Palace. That's a bit further away from here in Compi. will know this area and have visited it for the beer house all it was one Kaisla that still seems to be a fairly popular meeting point I've certainly been there a few times Not the least because uh, one of the people in charge is uh, someone who my good friends know. Familiar place there. This place has changed. Hello Stranger was not there when I was last here, I think. I'm not sure it's there now. It looks very, very empty. And then there's the casino, which I've never been to. So I cannot tell you much about that, other than what people have told me. <laughs> Here's the uh, National Theatre, it's just ahead, the stone building, and then of course the uh, railway station. These are, again, some of those really beautiful older buildings. quickly going to show you this but the sun is so low already it's uh, noon nine minutes past noon and the sun is uh, very low I think uh, late afternoon around four it will be dark not so sure about this parking style right over here but I guess it's not going anywhere
think I will wait here and go across so we can have a good look at the theater. There's uh, one of the main art galleries there as well, up and in. I don't think we can see much of it from the sun. I'm just going to walk this way. Enough to go around this statue and turn around. This square often in the winter has an ice rink, so you can come escape here. It also has events such as a beer festival, things like that. That's where a lot of the buses will go from. So it's not really a terminal as such, it's just stops, but I spent many a evening waiting for a bus or afternoon. A lot of time, in any case, waiting for a bus there. Here's the National Theatre. And this is Alexis Kivi in front. And this is one of the places that for me, from my childhood now, looks a lot smaller. I've been here, of course, as an adult as well, but this used to be kind of a place where um, if I came to the city to meet my mother after work, she told me to uh, wait up the stairs, the bus would stop here. Plus, I think that stopped there, although not anymore. And. Uh, not anymore. Uh, well, we don't leave anymore where we used to, but also the bus doesn't go from there anymore, if it even goes anymore. Not sure about that. But these stairs, I remember them as being huge, seriously huge. And they are not, they're just normal stairs. I would wait somewhere like here, around here, with a lot of other people. And I remember this being really steep, which it is not. So, <laughs> just a little bit of nostalgia for me, having been here on the stairs for a bit. I'll go inside, we'll have a look at how the station looks. It's a pretty nice building to go into. This is pretty much like it's been, except for a couple of restaurants that have come up here. If I move quickly, I can make a K train. Here's the station. Many of the trains here will go to uh, cities further. Away. All the way to the north of Finland, many, many hours. is going about 20 minutes. But that means my train is also at the very back. But this is what it means that it's sort of like an end of the rail. So the trains come here and uh, stop here and then they go out again.
This is the sort of a train for the metropolitan area, show the distances. And all of these trains are operated by the VR. All the on-route the, the government-owned railways company. And there in the distance is the amusement park Linnanmäki Castle Hill. It's already closed for the winter. That would be kind of where you would go every summer at least once as a child. If we had gone through Kaisalian and Puisto, we would have come from here. We still have more minutes. This is the light. With that view of the train and Linnanmäki and these new buildings surrounding uh, the station, I'll end the walk because I will be on my way to Tikkurila. I hope you enjoyed this walk from Hakaniemi to the Central Railway Station and on board the train. <laughs>